Mike, well, a series of town hall meetings well underway by Omaha Mayor Gene Stother. Tonight, a variety of topics brought forth by citizens, but as Jessica Gill explains, there were more compliments than complaints. Thanks for saying that. Thank you. Thank you. Positive words for the mayor and city tonight. A refreshing twist on these town hall meetings, all designed to give people a voice. Now, that's not to say there were no complaints at Monday night's meeting. One lady was concerned about the number of bats her house always seems to attract. But still, this concern, among others, peppered with lightheartedness. I've had a bat in my house this year, too. They come down the chimney. We did have a few questions of our own. One regarding ConAgra's decision to move its headquarters to Chicago and all the jobs that will now be cut. Mayor Stothard says her focus right now is finding those people work. We want those 1,000 people to stay in Omaha. And in regards to the sticker shock of a bid to build the Saddle Creek Retention Treatment Basin, $128 million is what the city was quoted. Well, the mayor was surprised, to say the least. But we're not going to pay that amount of money to get this job done there. We think it's valued at about $95 million, and that's what we would like to, to get the bids in at. The mayor adding she would also like to see more town hall meetings that turn out just like this one. The mayor says one of her top priorities has always been that of public safety. She was happy to report tonight that by the year 2016, the number of sworn officers right here in the Omaha Metro will have gone from two or excuse me, 804 to 851. So, Jessica, a good turnout tonight. How many more town hall meetings are there? Tonight's was the third of seven total, guys. The next one, I'm told, will be two weeks from tonight, and that'll be held at the Christie Heights Community Center located in South Omaha. Thank you. That's Jessica Gale reporting live tonight. A grand